Well, hello there, YouTubers, and here we have a special little delivery that's arrived today. I have a feeling that I know what this is. Let's crack the box open and have a quick look. Okay, that's everything that's come in the box. Let's see what it is. Express envelope. I don't know what this is. Let's take a quick look. It is... Yeah, this war of mine as expected, but I'm not entirely sure what the envelope was about. Let's have a look. It is, uh, this could be the Kickstarter exclusives, maybe. Uh, dear backers, our great honor to deliver this brief message to you along with our board game and a piece of work that exists mainly because of your support. And uh, the result of this work, this war of mine board game is not by people. Thank you, Lester, Kickstarter copy. Uh, in the stretch goals box, besides what was promised during the initial campaign, you will find additional items, an additional set of custom high quality dice, a secret passage that can only be opened after you successfully finish the game, a promotional miniature, and a free small expansion, our street. I wonder if this is the expansion, don't know. So, let's have a look. We have underneath the packaging, oh yeah, is this war of mine, the core box. Lovely. Should we take a look inside? Or should we take a look inside this one? Stretch goals. Uh, let's take a look inside the box itself. So they have sellotape stuck to it. So let me just grab the scissors. And we will dive in and see what we've got. Uh, this game, when did, when did it? It was May 2016 that this game uh, successfully funded on Kickstarter. So it's literally been a year and now it has arrived. So it's uh, nice artwork, nice <clears throat> vinyl finish with a texture on the actual box itself. The Book of Secrets. This is, we had a lot of Kickstarter updates from the developer. Ah, oh, look at this. I think it's going to be a bit like Choose Your Own Adventure and uh, there was a lot of, lot of updates coming from a developer of the game <clears throat> regarding the progress of this book and things that happened whilst you're on the game itself. Um, I bought this mainly for a solo experience, so um, I'm hoping that it's gonna be worth it. The journal, what is, what's this? Uh, during the playthrough after setup, you'll go through a full day and night cycle in seven phases. Um, you do not know all the rules to begin this experience. Icons, that's all, let's begin. You'll learn everything else while you're playing the game. So this obviously looks a bit like the, yeah, this is the instructions in order to, to get you through the game. Ugh, save sheet. So they are treating it like, yeah, they're completely treating it like a video game so that you can actually save your progress. Spare bag. Endless night, the last day. This is scenarios. So this is addition, I think this is additional to the actual campaign of the game itself. So these are the cardboard chips and they look okay, a little bit warped. How thick are they? Yeah, probably three millimeters thick, two mil, two millimeters thick. And uh, there's a lot of them. Double sided, yep. So we have quite a lot of these. Again, artwork is all very good, very nice. Probably one of the reasons I actually backed the game was the artwork that was on show when, um, when they were putting it up Kickstarter. Here's the board, which is a big one. I believe it should be double sided due to the actual Kickstarter campaign. I'll open the board in a minute. Tons and tons of cards. And, oh, look at this, it's full of stuff. I love games, I love a game like this. I think this is gonna be quite a good one. Here's our custom dice. Um, help the circle wiggling around. So this is, this is obviously the various decks in the actual game itself. The miniatures, let's take a look at the minis. And how good did they come out? Let's have a look. So these must be our survivors. 
for how they look. Uh, well, they're okay. Not too detailed, to be honest. They, um, yeah, not the most detailed miniature in the world. Let's take a look at another one. They are not fantastically detailed. So, as you can see, hang on, let's get some focus on there. They are kind of a bit smooth, so there's no actual high detail on these minis. As you can see, her trousers, so there is some, some detail, but in my eyes, you know, high quality miniature, as in Games Workshop or something like that, you would probably get a little bit more detail but it's a board game mini. It's not in, they're not massive, they're small. Probably the same size as uh, Mansions, Mansions of Madness, probably around that area. Um, if you take a look at a deck of the cards, black cards, chapter one. So I have no idea what any of this is. This game was um, being developed a long time ago and they were talking about everything that was happening. So let's quickly open a deck of cards just to see what the artwork's like, or if there is artwork or what the quality is like. So here's our first deck. What are these? These are just fillers. And so the card quality is um, it's okay. Not, not a vinyl finish, just a, a, a shiny finish. Um, but the actual artwork on the cards. So this is the actual, yeah, from the game itself, these are the survivors. Um, private, I don't know what private means. Maybe we shouldn't look at them. Reality impact, yeah, so the quality of the cards is good. Uh, graphic design is good. Yep, quite lucky in the, the look of that. I would imagine this is actually right the way through the entire the entire set. It's gonna have good, good graphic design and uh, it looks like we're getting quite a lot of quality delivered for the game. This is, uh, these obviously denote things going on. Metal. I don't know what that denotes, copper or something. Uh, these are plastic, so cogs, a bit like uh, Mex versus Minions, it's quite nice. And uh, glass beads. I like games with glass beads, a bit like viticul vit viticulture and things like that. So let's, while we're here, let's take a look at this board, shall we? And uh, let's open it up and see what we've got. So it is double-sided and it is huge. Wow, big board. And there we have it. So it's quite a big board. Um, the artwork's great. Uh, yeah, it looks like a nice board. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on on there. Let's have a little bit of a zoom in and check it out. So lots and lots of lovely artwork. Lots of spaces for your cards and your counters and, and everything that's going to be happening during the game. I can see I'm going to be reading the instructions a lot tonight. To be honest, I have totally forgotten uh, the rules of the game and all that sort of stuff because it was done during the Kickstarter. What's on, what's on the other side? This is double-sided. So this is probably the board. Yeah, I think this is the, is this the side the same as the game? Looks similar to the game. I think the game's got the cellar and stuff like that down here. This is the exploration slot. Obviously trying to get the game onto a game board is, um, is a bit difficult. A video game onto a game board, but again, loads of stuff going on. Loads of spaces for all the cards and things that happen during the game. So it's gonna be interesting. Should we take a look at the Kickstarter extras? Let's have a quick look in that box. Kickstarter extras. Ah, right, okay. So that, that was the first thing we'll dive into is the giant mini from the Kickstarter extras. And there it is again. So the, like, it's okay. And the sculpt is okay. You know, we've got some definition on the feathers and things like that. And But like this, this area just looks fairly, fairly basic. What are the guns like there? Um, 
Yeah, fairly basic. As you can see, it's just a general shape of a gun. It's not actually got anything other. So the sculpts are are basic, you know. But again, they probably don't do much to the game anyway. You probably play without them. So I think I might paint this one up. The statue, war damaged, war torn. Um, that's bullets, isn't it? That's a, a row of bullets there. So they don't look too massively detailed. And the boxes, again, not massively detailed. You know, you get you get better detail than this on a lot of cool mini figures. But again, is is there? It's done. Comes with it. What are these? Uh, these are the soldiers and things like that. Additional minis that came with it, wasn't it? So. There were soldier minis and all sorts of stuff that were unlocked during the campaign. And here they are. Yep, yeah, same as the other standards. Not um, super high quality, but not super rubbish quality. They're made of a good resin by the looks of it. They're not particularly bendy. And uh, mold lines, oh, mold lines are minimal. So it's not, not the end of the world. What else do we get? Some custom additional dice. What are these? Okay, they're very light. Well, they, fit, they feel light in the hand for some reason. Yeah, they do feel light. <clears throat> but, I don't know, these are a set of custom dice that comes for the Kickstarters. We also have Lords of Hellas. What's this? Enter the Dark Ages of Greece ruled by gods. Oh, this is, I think this is their, their, uh, their Kickstarter they've done recently. I'm pretty sure this Kickstarter's finished. What have they sent me? They've sent me another mini. Dear Becker, we would like to invite you to take part in an exciting new Kickstarter campaign, Lords of Hellas. Now, has this campaign run already? I'm not sure. Uh, this can put a terror to control. I'll check it out and I'll put some notes on the screen to see if this one's actually if this campaign has happened already, but they've sent me a mini on a, oh, I don't know what, what's, what's the base all the way? I'm not entirely sure, does he stand up? Nope, does he stand? Nope, so well, I don't know what the base is all about because he don't actually stand up on that. Uh, it's a minotaur by the looks of it. With a chain axe, chain sword axe. Looks like it's got a motor on it, a bit 40k-ish. But this miniature is a lot better than that miniature. So maybe Lords of Hellas or whatever it's called is actually a miniature game, but you can actually see the, dif the difference in the uh, level of detail on the sculpts is quite a lot. So maybe it is, maybe this one is designed to actually be a miniatures game rather than a board game with miniatures bundled on. But yeah, there's a lot more a lot more going on on this mini than there is on this one. So that's just the, you know, the standard, but hell, who knows what that is. No idea. What's this? Stuff of Nightmares. Uh, play at the beginning of the Night Raid phase. That must be another expansion, is it? And what's this? Goat specials. So these are the expansions, I think, because there was, I think there was three or four expansions um, completed during the, pro during the actual campaign. And the expansions were things like, you know, the children of um, the children of this war of mine and stuff like that. And it's probably just a new deck, is it? Let's have a look. What's this one? Because they, they showed artwork, but the artwork was not actually for the game. You, they showed artwork for a box, but you didn't actually get the box. Um, build a bike, kids playroom, magic room, comfortable bed. So this is, yeah, this is the Orphans of War expansion. So the expansion itself is just, um, just a deck of cards that you can actually play with and uh, yeah there's, there's a child there and I think this is the child that's pictured in the actual video games again the corners aren't sharp on this sculpt it's pretty looks like it's been melted <laughs> there's no sharp sharpness to the actual sculpt it's the sculpt itself but you know it's just a board game sculpt in the end of the world not particularly worried, um, but he looks quite a nice sculpt. And it looks like they just could literally give him a quick blast for some zenith or highlights. Anyway, um, that was, what was it? It was the children, uh, there was another one. 
another expansion, and I'm assuming that this one here, which was the, all the bits and bobs that came with as well, this must be another expansion. Or is this, let's have a look in the bag, shall we? See what else we get. Got quite a lot of stuff. This was 50 pound. Plus about, I don't know, 50 pound plus eight quid or something, postage. So for that fee, getting quite a lot of stuff in the box, to be honest. Let's get in there, come on. Right, what's this? B, A. Oh, that's your scavenge map, I think. I think that shows where you've, where you've scavenged when you're actually on the big board. And it shows where you've gone and where you've been and that sort of stuff, I think. 317, I think it says don't open that. And what's this? Uh, only open after you have managed to successfully complete the campaign, so we're not going to open that. Ah, the heart of the city, including the sewers and the Orphans of War books. So this, must, this is the books that go with the decks over there. So again, it's, it's like a choose your own story um, book. That's just a sticker, uh, a piece of card. This war mine stretch goals. So the, ah, here we go. This is telling us all about the, the stretch goals and stuff like that. So this is it. This is the entire stuff fulfilled. Oh, it's the sewers. That's the sewers add-on. Okay. I am going to have a lot of reading to do tonight because to be honest there was a lot of stuff included in this kickstarter and yes yeah, it's, it's pretty good quite like it actually if you don't know what a choose your own adventure book is wait there a choose your own adventure book was this was my first one when i read in about i must have been around in 1984 when i was a kid and this is uh, Freeway Fighter, and I absolutely loved it. It's by even Ian Livingston. And basically, as you rolled through, you made yourself a uh, you made yourself a character sheet. And as you played the game, you got to a certain place, and it would say you shout encouragement, and your decision would have turned to turn to paragraph sixty six, and you would turn to paragraph sixty six and read what happens. And it was basically your own adventure going through, and you would have health packs and potions and you would roll dice to see what happened when you encountered enemies and it was it was a uh, well choose your own adventure it was absolutely fantastic and the guys over at um uh, awaken realms this, this is i think this is exactly what the game is so the decisions you make send you to different parts of the book and uh, you you know you read your story as you go the only problem with that is is when I was a kid, I seem to remember that when I was when I was reading the book and playing the games included in the book, it would say turn to paragraph 66, and because you died so many times or 66 had happened so often, you kind of got a bit bored and you said, "Ah, oh, sod it, I'm dead," and you would just give up and not bother. And I could see that happening with this. I don't know how many. They said they put in so many different different story segments that it, it might be difficult to do because there is a lot in there. Um, but. That could be the only thing is that if you continually get pumped to the same one, 1589, 1589, 1589, and you, and you might end up all the time having the same stuff and you stop reading them. But anyway, there we go. It's a bit of a messy unboxing. Oh, let's get this in here. It's a bit of a messy unboxing because they sent me a load of stuff. It's just arrived. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably have a little bit of a tidy up now and I'll do some panning and zooming shots for you. Anyway. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.